1921, the Greenwood District of Tulsa, Oklahoma was a thriving African-American community known nationally as the Black Wall Street. Although many residents worked in the white community, they lived and spent their money in Greenwood. Churches, schools, banks, clothing, and dry goods stores lined the main streets of Greenwood, while homes occupied the side streets. But when a young black man was accused of assaulting a white female elevator operator in downtown Tulsa on May 30th, 1921, simmering racial tensions exploded into what has become known as the Tulsa Race Massacre. Gangs of white men descended on Greenwood, attacking black people and burning much of the neighborhood to the ground. After years of historical suppression, the massacre has remained unknown to many people. Working to uncover some of the lost history is UF forensic anthropologist, Dr. Phoebe R. Stubblefield, whose family is from Tulsa. I had no idea that it had ever occurred. And I told my mother I was involved in this project. She said, oh yes, your Aunt Anna lost her house. No comment about it before existing. Granted, it happened before my mother was born, so I get it. But now you tell me, and you grew up there? Over the last two years, Stubblefield and others have been conducting systematic searches of several locations in Tulsa for the graves of black people killed in the massacre. My colleagues and I, are involved in identifying where mass graves related to the event are located and who is in them. And last October, we isolated one of the mass graves in Oak Lawn Cemetery in Tulsa. So this summer, I hope to be excavating that mass grave fully and analyzing the skeletal remains. So I work with archeology span colleagues from Oklahoma and they're handling the excavation itself and any personal effects or artifacts and I'm leading the team to analyze the skeletal remains themselves and write their story. The Pound Laboratory has a long history of participation in historical cases under the late Dr. William Maples. I research human skeletal variation. A lot of my work here is managing forensic cases. So we do a lot of work on trauma analysis and identification of skeletonized individuals. We serve medical examiner districts up and down the state of Florida, and then we help sheriff's agencies with scene searches and to recover human remains or just to look for human remains. Uh, we do that frequently with the Latchville County Sheriff's Office. They're great neighbors that way. While most of her work involves contemporary cases in Florida, this summer, Stubblefield hopes to help solve a century-old mystery in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> 